Are you a music lover who seems to always not have the best headphones? You want it to be Bluetooth and wireless, but you don't really want to spend a ton of money? If you like over-the-ear headphones, we're going to review the Ace Cool Bluetooth headset that I have here in my hand right now. Welcome back to all our subscribers. And if it's your first time checking out a product review here at the Balancing Act Chronicles, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy. Now, as we said before, this is your first time here. These aren't really high tech reviews or product reviews. They're not really your typical unboxing that you'll see on YouTube. Instead, they're product reviews for the common man and woman. Right? It's how will these apply in your day-to-day -day life and are they worth the price that you pay for them? Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Ace Cool 50 hour over the ears Bluetooth headphones you see here. Now, first and foremost, the price for one of these is, these are a little over $40. It's on sale on Amazon, as you can see uh, here on your screen, as well as I'm putting a link below for you to check these out or if you're interested in buying them. Now, they are over the ear headphones. So if you're looking for in-ear headphones, We'll do a review of one of those in the near future, but I am an over-the-ear kind of guy. I really do like drowning out the sound around me. Um, they fit very comfortably. They're easy to adjust, um, and they go pretty wide, as you can see here. Um, so they, they vary to the size of folks' heads, and I know all of us, I'm, I'm a guy with a pretty big head, so I can tell you that I appreciate headphones that do adapt to the size of whatever head. They are able to spin, so they do spin outwards, which makes them easy to place flat on a surface. So I travel a lot and putting them right into my book bag without having to worry about them being in this position is really nice. So this is just kind of the functionality. They do have some really soft ear pads to make it comfortable over the ear. One of the recommendations that they do have is that every few hours you take them off to make your ears a little bit more comfortable and to make sure you get the best sound. I can honestly say that I agree with that. I've been on flights before where I've uh, had these on for several hours because they do last for a pretty good amount of time as well as they said in the name they can go up to 50 hours on one charge i've used these before and they do tend to start hurting on the top part of the ear if they're on for too many hours consecutively but it's not an excruciating pain it just starts building up after a few hours so you do want to make sure that you take these off every once in a while so i'm going to get behind the camera now so you can see some of the buttons that are on this so this would be the left ear over here, and the left ear really doesn't have anything except for um, a small auxiliary port right there. And that's because even though these are Bluetooth wireless headphones, if they, the battery does run out or you don't have a Bluetooth device to connect to, you can connect to it with a simple auxiliary cable. So as you can see, I have my auxiliary cable here. Just going to plug it in there and now I have a wired headphone. So you do get that duality of being able to use it through Bluetooth wirelessly, as well as wired. So if you travel a lot and you're on planes and you wanna watch some of the TV that they have on there, you use this other end right there and plug it right in. And on the other side, you'll see this is where the buttons are located. So you have about three buttons, I believe. Yes, that's right as well as a micro USB port. And this is where you charge the headphones. So we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you have your power button. And with this power button, you'll turn it on and off as well as hold it down for pairing. So it's very easy to pair. And one of the cool things about this device is you can actually pair it to two devices at once. So if you do have two mobile devices, or as I do, I use this on my laptop through my Bluetooth dongle on my laptop and my mobile device. So I can listen to music through my phone or through my laptop, but if I get a phone call, I'll still be able to talk through this because this does have a built-in microphone, which I didn't mention, but yes, it does have a built-in microphone. And then these other two buttons are for raising the volume or skipping forward or lowering the volume and going backwards. So this is for the music control. And this is how you can skip forward and backwards on some songs as well as raise and lower the volume. Um, on your music if you're using it through your smartphone. So one other cool feature about these Ace Cool headphones is that you can act, it actually has its own equalizer app in case you want to control the levels of music that you hear and really work with the equalizer to get the best sound for your mobile device. What you're seeing on the screen right now, you go to the Play Store, you, if you type in Ace Cool headphones, one of the first options that pops up is headphones equalizer music and bass enhancer by many things dev 
you install this, it actually is an equalizer intended for these headphones. Now, I've used it, it does make the, the audio output different, but one of the things that I use is I have an app that's called Music Player, and yes, I know that's the most generic name for a music player ever, but I have an app called Music Player, Audio Player by Mobile V5, um, and it already has its own built-in equalizer. So I use this app, and when I go in there, I can actually control the equalizer in there to get the sound that I want. Twenty dollars with progressive, but root, it's only sixty-seven dollars, and with more coverage. You gotta love ads; they pop up on anything. These can last for up to fifty hours of talk time or playback time on one charge. Now it says that the charge is about two and a half hours on normal average time. I can honestly say that I've never charged this for longer than maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get a full charge. And there'll be a little light that pops up here. It'll be red when it's charging and it turns blue once it's ready. So uh, a pretty quick charge for a long playback period. So it's super, super simple to work with as well. You're really just gonna hold that power button to turn it on. You'll hear a voice that says power on. When it's in pairing mode, it'll say pairing. And it is an English language, by the way. Uh, once you paired, it'll say your device is connected. And when you power off, it'll say power off. So pretty straightforward. You'll hear the audio commands right in the ears. Now, what I want to do now is try something that might not work. So we'll see if this is helpful. You probably want to hear how it sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to it's connected to my mobile device right now. I'm going to play a song through the headphones. I'm going to play that decent uh, loudness, so not all the way too loud. And I'm going to connect these headphones right into the shotgun mic to see if you guys can hear it and hear the crystal clarity of it. So let's try that now. So we got a little Bruno Mars 24 karat magic. Let's see how it works. All right. And one other thing, as you can see here, um, as it's connected, you get a little blue beep. That's how you know that it's on as well. So once it's connected to a device, it'll keep this blue light beeping, which is helpful because a lot of times when I'm traveling, I'll throw this in my bag and I'll forget to completely turn it off. And then when I go in the bag to grab something else, I'll see this blue light and it reminds me that I need to shut it off. It's as simple as just holding the power off button until it's done. Sorry guys, I gotta hear this. One quick annotation to the video here. I know it all been positive stuff that I've been saying. You're probably like, well, what are the downsides? Well, just got back from the gym and I did note there's one thing, a couple things that I wanna highlight. One good, one bad. Uh, in terms of the good, one thing that I forgot to say is it has a pretty decent range in terms of how far you can move away from your Bluetooth device and still get really crisp sound without interference. Uh, I know I just tested it out, went about 25 feet away from it and it was still pretty crisp. Left my phone on the ground at the gym, went for a walk around some of the weights uh, that cooled down and it was still pretty good range. Now one of the downsides is, this is kind of like a pleather here, uh, it's not really leather, but this surface here with your sweat, um, it will eventually like kind of start drenching this area. So if you're using it for working out, it's gonna get really slippery. Um, and one other thing is, um, even though it fits very comfortably over the head, when you do exercises where you move your head back or you're laying down in a full horizontal uh, position, they do tend to slide right off and onto the floor. So even though they're pretty tight uh, when you're standing up or sitting down, the moment you lay down, you start to see that looseness in these and they do come right off. So that is one of the downsides. So if you're gonna use this for working out, just be prepared for that. You know, if you're like bench pressing, they might fall off. Or um, if you're doing something where you're sweating a lot, just anticipate that you're gonna get these really uh, wet and probably it's gonna be sliding a little bit and a little bit uncomfortable. So that is one of the downsides with the way that this is built. Now back to the rest of the review. So I hope you found this review helpful. Again, for a little over $40, over the ear Bluetooth headphones with that duality to be able to connect with it to a wire, listen to it in multiple different fashions, whether it's through um, the Bluetooth connected to your phone, wired up to a specific device, the longevity that it has, the ease of charge, the ease of connectivity, 
for the everyday man or woman who's probably gonna use this to uh, go to the gym or to, or to distract themselves when they're traveling or even just somebody who really wants to hear music really clearly in their ear, maybe a producer. I would recommend these. They may not be studio quality, but again, for under $50, these are a great option. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed it or you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up below to show a like. Feel free to share it on your networks as you see fit. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe right here. If you're already subscribed, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate you. And make sure you all hit that little bell to be notified when videos like these and others come about. Thank you for watching. Salute.